Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an easy way to route the Galaxy Note 5. Okay, before you begin, this is probably, possibly, might erase your phone. Uh, so make sure you back everything up just in case. Uh, also, this tutorial requires Windows, as the flashing software that Samsung provides called Odin uh, only works for Windows. Okay, so before we begin, we need to check for the model number of our phone. One of the reasons that some of the kernels that we're gonna be using are specific to the different models of the phone. You need a specific kernel for your specific model. And obviously, if you don't know your model, you won't be able to download the right kernel. The other thing is that there are some models that this just doesn't work for. So click the link below to check out the developers page to see all of the supported models. To find out our model, we're gonna pull down from the top, tap the gear at the top right, Scroll all the way down to about device, and then you'll see your model number listed right there. You can write that down for use later. Okay, so next we're gonna enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. So to do that, we're gonna pull down the notification again, tap on the gear to get to settings, scroll all the way down about device, and then we're gonna scroll down to build number and keep tapping that until it tells you you are a developer. We can hit back, then tap on the new developer options. And then we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna turn on OEM unlock and USB debugging. Okay, so now that we've set the phone up and it's ready to go, we're going to download that Samsung flashing software I just told you about called Odin. So click the link here and save that to your desktop. Next, we're also gonna download the kernel that roots the device uh, called SpaceX. So we're gonna click that link to be taken to the developer's post. Uh, and you'll see all the different models so depending on which model you have, uh, and again, you can check that in the about device of your settings, you're going to click which one of these it is and save that to your desktop. Just make sure that whichever one you choose to download, you download the .tar.md5 version. Okay, and then we're gonna turn off the phone. And then we're gonna turn by holding down volume down, power and home all at the same time and keep holding them till you get this screen. Then we're to have volume up to continue and it'll show this screen. And when that happens, we're gonna plug it into our computer via our USB. Okay, so then we're gonna right click the Odin zip file and hit extract here. Open up the folder inside there. We can right click the .exe, hit run as administrator. And you should see added right here, uh, saying that it found the device. Then we're gonna click AP, and we're gonna go to our desktop and find the uh, .md5 file uh, that we downloaded from the kernel website. Click open, and then don't touch anything else, just hit start, and wait for it to flash. Eventually it will say pass, um, and it shouldn't take very long at all actually, and the device will reboot. Once it's done rebooting, we can open the app drawer. You'll see Super SU now in there. We're gonna tap that. And if it doesn't say anything, that means it should be working. To verify and make sure, you can uh, download Root Checker from the Play Store. Open that, hit agree, hit okay, hit verify root. Super user request should come up, say grant. And that's how you know you're all set. And there you go. You can now uh, click the link below to be taken to my site uh, to learn how to flash custom ROMs now that you're rooted and check out the ROM repository on the site full of tons of custom ROMs that I found throughout the internet. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos on how to get the most out of your device, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me at dkogan on any of the social networks. And as always, thanks for watching.